Hi, uh, Mark is here. So I want to go through the stock sets with you. A stock set is when you have uh, a customer that wish, wishes to purchase uh, a case of some items, but they want to mix it up. They do not want the case of cold drinks, uh, 12 bottles in the case, and buy 12 Cokes. They want to be able to buy, argument's sake, uh, four Cokes, uh, four Fanta, and four Fanta grape kind of thing. And because they want to do that, if you scan it normally, obviously what will happen is it will ring it up as um, four bottles individually, and obviously the price will be much higher. So let's go and have a look uh, at my point of sale. I've actually rang up some items already uh, to m exp try and explain it a little bit easier. So what I, you can see on the screen there, I've got line lager cans, castle light cans, and castle cans. Um, and I made the single price 1750 just for a, a number. If So if I ring up 444, as you can see, the total price for the each individual item would be 70 Rand, and the total would then be 210 Rand. Um, that will obviously not be something that the customer would want to accept. So let's go and have a look at the back office quickly of how you can set that up. So let's go into the, one of the items first of all. So what I've done is my castle can. Um, I've made this, first of all, I've combined it with a primary pricing set or pricing set product. And I said that this is my main product. In other words, all the other beer cans must fit into the same concept. Um, if you go into this item here, um, the SA Brew beer can, sorry, uh, is linked to the castle can, meaning that that's my, my main item. And then all the other products that is linked to that will auto, are, sorry, automatically be the same pricing. So my castle can, let's go back into it. If I look at pricing, you'll see the single price is $17.50. It warns me or uh, instructs me very clearly at the bottom here that the pricing, this is the primary pricing item. I've also gone in, made it a bit more difficult, uh, and said that my price for 12 must be 49.99, and I've overwritten the price uh, manually by typing in 49.99. In other words, that's the price of a 12 set that I want to sell. Okay, and obviously you can do the same for 24, or whatever the case would be. Okay, so that's the setup on that item. So if I look at arguments like Castle Light Cans. Um, it's now part of that. It says it's a child pricing set item. And then if I go and look at the pricing, you'll see that because it's a child, it has exactly the same uh, pricing as the castle. And then the line log are the same. So let's go and look at the, the stock set. If I go to other maintenance and I go to stock set, uh, you'll see I've got a beer can there. And again, uh, the pricing is linked to a castle can, the main product again. And then if I go and say, well, which products belongs to the family, okay? Then it tells me that clearly that my castle can, the castle light can, and the line lager can. So any combination of that, if um, I ring up any one of those three items, and you can see here that I said the number of sets uh, in a unit is 12. So if I ring up any one quantities of that, it doesn't have to be 444, four, four. it could be 6 and 3 and uh, three again and it will still make up my 12 um, it will then charge the price for the set all right so let's go and see how it works in practice um, as you can see that's all updated nicely obviously we'll do an update point of sale the normal steps and so on so if I'm on my point of sale I've rang it up individually it comes to 210 Rand if I now press F10 for tender it automatically will go and say, but hang on, this is part of the stock set. Oh, very important. Sorry, I failed to uh, to mention. You must just make sure that your stock sets, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, they're set to on. Um, and for the same reason, uh, shrinks is on as well. It doesn't have to be together, but specifically stock sets for this option to work. So because this is set up like uh, as a stock set, immediately when it rings it up and I ring it up, you see it immediately changes to yellow. And the yellow tells me that there's now something special happening here. And what it's done now is it actually rang up the price. The total price is now 49.99, which, as you can remember, let's just refresh your memory. Back in the main stock by detail for my castle can, uh, and I look at my pricing. That's the 49.99 price. So instead of ringing it up as 
four individual products that's actually rang it up now as part of the stock set and that's where the total comes from and again you can simply just type it in as 50 rand and press uh, your cash card or check button and this the stock set is sold properly uh, I'm gonna say no don't print um, now last thing just on the screen you can also see that the system uh, prompts you here for a deposit at the bottom okay so on this point here it says no deposit in other words if there was a deposit let's say for instance this was a case of beer uh, sorry a case of cold drink and there was a physical crate that had to go with this uh, if I had specified the crate deposit uh, in this stock set uh, it would have absolutely rang that up for me at the same time and um, added that to the price or actually given the customer credit so let's just go and modify this one just to prove a point I'm just gonna press F1 for search quickly and then jump into the back of my back office I'm gonna go back to my stock sets again other maintenance stock sets and my beer can set and I'm gonna say that yes in my deposit there I'm gonna say cold drink uh, one liter case just uh, again and I'll sake of my argument all right um, and as soon as I do that let's do an update point of sale and update pause uh, give the controller a couple of seconds to update all of that and then we'll go back to the point of sale and in the point of sale it will now flash as soon as the changes has happened okay this flash has just come through and let's go and ring up that same item um, and or an item shall I say I'm gonna ring up my castle uh, light can and we'll for sake of an argument again we'll specify that four of those and my castle can um, I'll ring up the same castle can singles uh, sorry four of those and then the last one was the line lager can and I'll ring that up as well and make it four of those okay so there's my 12 so as soon as you press your F10 or turn the button um, you'll see now what it actually rings up for you automatically is uh, your price have gone come down to your 49.99 and at the same time it's deducted a cold drink liter deposit for you at the 5 rand 70 now this works specifically well in if you're selling arguments like castle courts uh, or court cases okay and your customer mixes up the courts and you want to be able to ring up the deposit automatically deduct the deposit if you ring up a case um, I'm sure if you see the benefits of this and you implement it in your business play around with it a little bit until you're confident that it works in your business with the way that you're handling it you'll see that it's a, a really special uh, feature in the system enjoy